welcome back to Fate, the Rise of Madness. Woo! This is Woo! 36, Contracts and Contraband, Part 2. Um, we were a little shorthanded last week. We're still a little shorthanded this week, but we have one more person joining us this time, which is to say, Kane is back. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes wild! That's right. Krishna, Krishna will be in soon. I feel uh, like Kane's the only, only sane person in this group some days. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bad things happen without you being here, by the way. Bad decisions. <laughs> yeah, that's quite true. I mean, I left for like two or two or three sessions in a row, and I come back, and half the party joined a cult. Dude. I tried. I tried so hard. I even said their name very slowly at them. And I was like, Cult of Madness. And I was like, nah! Yeah. <laughs> nah, we're gonna do it! We're gonna You're do misunderstood. It. You're misunderstood. Yeah. So, last session, the group finished off the Black Knight, who, it turns out, was Frigg Wolfheart. And uh, Clank decided to try to open the big chest. And in doing so, encountered Shogoth the Devourer, a terrifying oh. mass of shadow tentacles and toothy maws. He Yay. had to answer a couple of questions, which he did not super great at. And as a result, uh, was rendered temporarily insane specifically quite paranoid uh, that lasted for about four and a half ish days when he came to the chest opened and within was just oodles and oodles of karaki money yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah did i tell everybody this uh <laughs> yeah they were standing around they were damn. Yeah. Plus, I mean, <laughs> plus when you opened it, the contract that Kane was carrying, that showcased all of the, uh, like, the contract with with the Karaki family, uh, began to glow, vibrate, and chime. Um, updating at the very bottom of it to show the amount of money recovered of the stolen coin. And. As a friendly reminder, that total amount is kind of ridiculous. So we've kind of read through the list here. 72 blue draca, 800 green draca, 1250 white draca, 500 red draca, and 350 black draca converted into the sort of standard coin, which is the white draca you have in your possession. 7,281,303.5 white draca. It's not too bad. It's not at all, which means that your current payout, so your payout was 1% of the money recovered or 50,000 white draca whichever is greater. So your current payout sits at 72,814 white draca. Yeah. Which is not bad at all. Especially sp split two ways, Kane. We got this. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that. Oh, I mean, all right. Who's against in the party? Say aye. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, well, well. Here, Krishna and Quetzal both say, oh. Uh, oh, damn it. Forgot they're here. And I'll, I glare at them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're they're not idle. I mean, they're, they're idle because their players aren't here, right, at this moment. But they're not, like, they're not gone. <laughs> Yet. Um, after... T phrase. <laughs> After the acquisition of the money and the, uh, there was a book called Elders, 
which I'll tell Corey about here in a moment, or tell Kane about here in a moment. Uh, there is there was a sort of briefcase sized chest that had vials of blood in it. Oh, yeah, we found that. Um, it was not all of them. We found about 30 vials, one of them being Krishna's. Uh, Quetzal's was not found, and Kane's was not found. Uh, although it doesn't too much matter for Kane's anyway. That's right, because I because I gave him made up blood. <laughs> yes, yes, you gave him uh, polymorphed blood. That's right. But you don't get the boost off of it, right? For wearing it, you just did it. That's correct. Okay. Oh, no. uh, so it uh, that was an interesting sort of side plot there. Um, you were on your way back to Sartak City. Mm -hmm. And the decision was made to, like, once the, uh, once the paranoia faded from Clank, the decision was made to return to the Angel of the Ancients and get Craig Wolfhart's body and bring her to be brought back to life in Sartek City. So you did that, you went, there were a couple of options and I believe a choice was made to go to the Temple of Samyusan, the Lord of Battle, which is essentially just the arena. And you met up with Battle Master Armek, who was a gold, who is a gold dragonborn, some uh, apparently cleric that he has. He must have some kind of fighter levels in, uh, in along the way because he is a very skilled combat person. And you paid the required mm. monies. Cleric of war. Cleric of war. Yep. Uh, you paid the monies, and he began the ritual to resurrect Frigg. And we ended the episode right at the time that the ritual completed and she was brought and or returned to life. What was that? Hmm? Krishna! Yeah! What up? You are just in time for us to start. Uh, Fucking A. That's very good timing. Welcome. Yes, yes. Uh, so Frigg is waking up from the resurrection ritual. She's a bit groggy. Um, but she seems completely different in her demeanor. And, wow, she was under a spell. And she was when you fought her as the Black Knight. Um, in order to get this process done, um, he, uh, Armek, Battlemaster Armek also did a little bit of preemptive healing of the body. Uh, so the scarring, there's still very heavy scarring all over her body from when she was uh, broken down to be remade in the Cult of Madness line of thought, reinstituted, if you will. Uh, brainwashed through torture, etc., etc. Uh, she, uh, many of her scars have, have been healed by this Armek fella. A lot of them remain. Uh, to do all of that, of course, and part of the ritual, she was stripped of her armor. And quite, in fact, arguably, all of her clothes, enough that it's She's essentially nude. Um, and she is visibly weakened, but she sort of stands up from the, the table that she was on. Um, has no, very much like Finn, uh, 
has no degree of of shame or anything as far as like standing there naked. Uh, and she says, Ooh. she says, uh, oh my, where is Crowley's mom? <laughs> Indeed. She, she says, uh, thank you for bringing me back. I, I was, uh, I have more to do here, and I appreciate the return so that I may continue. I uh, imagine that you have questions. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and we walk away. Forever. Forever. So, uh, you try to kill That would be the, the top of the list. Do what? Why, why were you uh, failing us? Well, I... Uh, by the way, uh, you sound like you're very far away. We're in a bottle. Ah, piss. <laughs> yeah. let me, let me, piss let me, in the let me, bottle? Let me, let me fix that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she says... The last time I accidentally oh. drank it. There, there we go. go. That's way better. That is. Yeah, way I take the headphones off. There we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, she says, "I was told to." And at and that, that's it. At that time. That was enough. It was the Imperius curse. Well, <laughs> something, something similar, but much <laughs> takes takes much longer to implement than the Imperius curse. <sighs> oh. So who, who was it that, um, that gave you this command? Do you know? Damakoth. That motherfucker. Yep. This was his... This was his last chance. And his failure, she kind of smiles a little bit, uh, means that he will probably be harshly punished. Unless he comes his way out of it again. Excellent. Because uh, you, and she kind of looks around at all of you, you. Oh, us, she meant to say. Have been quite the thorn in the cult of madness's side of late. Specifically. In Damakos's side. Yeah. Yeah. We uh fuck shit up and chew bubblegum. We're all out of bubblegum. <laughs> um She kind of exhales a, a, a deep sigh. Well, um, uh, yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, apology not accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I, and dinner is dead. <laughs> I know <laughs> of you most of you in fact uh there was i i heard that there was a recent addition 
who no longer appears to be here with you. What sort of smaller bird person? Uh, Cor Corvus, perhaps? Um, there were, at the time of my death, no plans against Corvus. At least none that I knew of. But there have been... Damakos has been meticulously planning things against each of you. Canes, oh. he's already pulled off. Yeah. Which is terribly Yeah. Uh, and she, she does genuinely look remorseful on that. Not that she necessarily had a hand in it, but like she knew about it. don't know a lot because I was used primarily as a tool for removing obstacles from the path of the cult of madness but I know a little and perhaps I can provide information uh, do you have that book within the chest we do, don't we? Yeah. Here. Okay. This book, uh, Kane, you would not, uh, you didn't, you were there, uh, but you, you don't really know exactly what the book is, other than the, that its title is Elders. Um, if a warlock is attuned to it, they can cast warlock spells a total of three times rather than two uh, per long rest. Ooh. And Neat. if the reader is not a warlock, then they gain access to the Eldritch Blast cantrip. But every time it's used, the caster must make a DC 12 wisdom saving throw or suffer from a short term madness. <coughs> so, it's a pretty neat book. Um, it has lots of information about certain patrons and uh, the means of channeling power, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's clearly... Dark dark magic stuff. Yeah. Warlocky things. But she she sort of takes the book. She doesn't... She, she opens it, but not to read it. She opens it, and she, she reaches into... This, the, this, the gap between the outer spine of the book and the inner bindings and pulls out a strip of paper. A small strip of paper. And it says it says uh, in common it says Sizir which is S Y Z Z I R in Draconicia. Now, the first one, the first word there, Sazir, is very likely just a name. Is a what? Is is a name. It okay. Has, it, it doesn't make any sort of sense as a place. Like it's not it's it's not a place any of you any of you have ever heard of. Uh, Krishna has heard of Draconicia though. Huh? Is there video? No. <laughs> uh, we gotta get the those views. Let there be video. Woo! Draconicia is the is a city in the in the southern continent that is predominantly dragonborn. Interesting. Neat. And it is sort of adjacent to uh, what they call the, the dragon dragon head lake. Which is a lake that looks when you if if you were to fly straight up in the air and look down it looks quite like the open mouth of a dragon, like a dragon head. 
Yeah. Uh, most most cities, as you know, there aren't a lot of dragonborn. There are some, sort of a smattering here and there. But Dragonicia is predominant, like ninety percent dragonborn, which is huge, like ridiculously in contrast to other places. <clears throat> says, I don't know. I saw him put the note in. I don't know what what bearing it has or what it means. Um, I know that Damaklis's boss, the sort of direct boss, was a being called the Chaos Dishin, a warlock of terrible power who serves the, tr the, the true leader. leader. <laughs> yeah. Which you all actually at this point already know who that is. Uh, she does not. You know that it is Shogoth the Devourer. Just the true mm. Oh yeah, Shogoth that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. But she she doesn't know who, who that is. She's she's never met Shogoth. Do I have a flashback or something right now? N uh no, because the name isn't invoked or anything. So I, I, I would ah. venture to say no, probably not. Good. I shiver a little bit. <laughs> and throw up a little in his mouth. <laughs> well, he doesn't eat, so it, it's not quite how yeah. it's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very socially awkward too. I'm just like I say, "Wow, I made me uncomfortable," and then I go back to being quiet again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she says during my cause like she's she's been she she's looked to be very deep in thought the whole time that you've been talking to her almost as though she's like sorting through her old memories trying to make sense of everything and she 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 kind of goes into that thousand yard stare for a few moments and her eyes focus on Krishna. She says I know someone who knows you but I scoot closer to your mic a little bit. Oh, Is this better? Yes. Mucho? Yeah. Okay. She says, I know someone who knows you, Krishna. I didn't oh, no. understand in the moments that we had discussions, but during my reinstitution, when I was tortured, and thrown into the cell or whatever they would call that place. <laughs> it's like drunk history. It was like, yeah. My... <laughs> it was, yeah. Like, you can tell that she's having a hard time just, just reliving the memories. Just thinking back on, on, on the memories. Like, she's wincing and she's looks very, uh, she's a bit spooked. Spooky tortured soul as it were ah and <laughs> she says the person in the cell next to me was another dragonborn dragonborn uh, his name was He said it was Bala Balarama. Balarama, it's your long lost brother. It is. <laughs> Specifically, 
It is your older brother. Ooh. Oh. So you solve him there? Yes. Under what condition? He was in the cell next to mine. Tortured as I was. Worse. So he was there sometime. when you left? Uh, yeah, I, I left. Before him. I broke before him. Do you have any recollection of where this place is? No. But I have a feeling that the plan against you. Oh gosh, sorry, that was loud. My bad. <laughs> uh, I imagine that the plan against you, Krishna, involves him in some way. Probably in the same way that Finn's was me. I was, I believe, I was supposed to kill Finn. I see. Gasp. And I would have, or I would have tried, at least, given opportunity, but it appears that he is not with you at this moment. I don't know why, but I am quite glad of that. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Who did I? Okay. Quetzal's... Okay. I don't know all of the plans. At least not the specific details. Only very odds and ends that I've heard while guarding tents and things like that. Um, so, Kane's is done. Sorry to keep bringing that up, Kane, but it's, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's well, happened. fuck this guy. Um, <laughs> Finn's was me. Krishna's is Balarama. Uh oh. Uh, which side note? Uh, in actual uh, in Hindu documentation. Or Buddhist documentation, Balarama is the older brother of Krishna. Oh, huh. uh, yeah. Anyway, Neat. Uh, the Quetzal's, more you know. Quetzal's involves his adoptive parents. Uh, Harriet's involved her son and uh, husband in some way. I don't know specifically how or why. Uh, and of course, Clanks. I know that it involves necromancy, but I don't know what. Oh God! What, what purpose it served? <laughs> um, I, I roll I, the I, shit in my pants. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I had more information for you. Um. I just wasn't told much, honestly. Uh, Did they give you instructions of what to do after you completed your mission? I was to protect Damakos until the next mission came up, whatever that may be. So, so no, the, I guess. So they're going full on like Winter Soldier kind of thing here. Yeah. Gave you my second hair. Yeah, kinda. Yep, yep. Uh, she is very drained, and after like relaying all the information, she kind of has to, has to lean back against the table that she was resting on before. Yeah. Because resurrection is very hard on a person. Uh, which is to be expected. And it'll, what? It, it, it'll take her <laughs> several days of rest to fully recover. 
because it's uh, so a, a, after resurrection, it is minus four to basically like all saving throws, ability checks, attack rolls, everything until you get a long rest, and that reduces by one. Then it's minus three, then minus two, then minus one, and then it, it's just you're back to normal. But it takes some time to recover. Uh, she says, I have shame. Intense shame and rage. And I will very likely see you all again when the fight continues with the cult of madness. I don't know when precisely. And I do thank you again for profusely for bringing me back uh, so that I may bring the fight to them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I really need to go to sleep. So do you, is there anything else that you have need of my uh, of me prior to that? Not at this very moment. Okay. But we may ask you later. Yeah. Okay, I will be... She starts to uh, put on the uh, cloth padding that goes beneath the armor. The the plate armor and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. She's, she's, she's going to start to get ready. And she says, I'm going to rest here in Sartek City. Uh, probably, and she kind of looks to Armek. If I may stay here in the in the temple, that would be optimal, really. Uh, he, he says, of course. Yeah, that's, yeah. You are a very skilled fighter. You follow other than your temporarily addled state. You have served Samusan very well. So, of course, you're welcome here at any time. So, she's going to stay at the temple for the next four days, essentially. Four or five days until she's healed up. Until she's recovered. At which point, she's going to go off and do whatever go after the cult of madness I should have organized that fight do what we should be able to organize that fight she would be good to have for like the end game like maybe we oh, could do some sure. doctor strange shit <laughs> bring her out of nowhere she's like oh you're left use use gate use use gate yeah. stones well. to create big shiny yellow portals <laughs> yeah we should be able to contact all these people that are meeting for like the in-game fight i feel like oh you got a while before that's going to go down but i'll yeah. remember this moment jadar oh I have... oh, never mind that's the other campaign <laughs> clank. Clank, will... clank will remember that well clank's we last go. name is jadar technically speaking yeah yeah i guess so they're right yeah you're you're not well, you're not necessarily wrong in that i can't use my father's name I have not earned that respect yet. <laughs> Call me Clank Snow, and I turn around and walk away. <laughs> uh. You know nothing, Clank Snow. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't matter anyways. <laughs> All right. So here is the... Okay, so she she sort of moves once once you finish with all your questions and stuff. She moves out of that room to what to presumably some sort of chamber with a bed to rest. And you are standing before Battlemaster Armek, who is very confused. Uh, and <laughs> he says, uh, I don't know, what was that about? A, 
are you I, okay so I, I have heard of the, the cult of madness I fought with some of them I've trained a few of them actually uh, they pay well and it turns out they're kidnapping and torturing people and right under everyone's noses that's that's real that's not good I'm glad that we could bring Frigg back I'm glad that she could help you with information I will probably have to it's never a good strategy to use that spell, is it? Like, never. Like, pretty much use it exactly for what it says in the book. What? Oh. Oh. There you there are. There we go. Huzzah. What are you talking about? Our Lord Wish. and Savior is back. Wish? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wish is, is uh, very dangerous, for sure. Uh. Uh, unless you use it for the specifically listed things because every time that you use it outside of its standard format you have to roll percentile dice and if you roll within a certain range you can never cast wish again yep ever like wow even if there's a fire it goes away from your brain wow. and you cannot ever relearn it even if you have access to <laughs> like the wish say a wish scroll or something you cannot cast it again <laughs> which is why it's a bit also um, if you fail it you take like absurd amounts of damage it's like 1d12 times the number like the level of spell you're trying to cast and stuff like that it's brutal yeah. <clears throat> anyway. He says, what What did you ask? Yeah. What did you ask earlier? Well, he he hasn't asked anything yet. He's just like he's he's just vocally processing. Oh, pondering it. Uh, gotcha. We're, we're gonna have to up the security here at the Coliseum because now I th I'm sure that at some point. Cult of Madness will figure out that we brought Frigg back, uh, and that will have its own interesting repercussions. I did not realize the danger that this ritual would put the Colosseum in. We'll just not say I would not have done this the ritual for you. It's just maybe next time, just like, you know, give us a little heads up on that. As to who we're bringing back to life. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, that was Quetzal's idea. Uh, <laughs> no, Dag, um, again, again. Freaking bird people. I'm not, this is Armex still, I'm, I'm not opposed to doing this especially right. if you I mean I have no problem doing the ritual we can do that every day mm. so long as we have the money for it or the the, the spell components for it um, but it's good for pretext sometimes uh, I will certainly bear that in mind I, uh, I apologize for any inconvenience this has, yes. has brought to you um, well, it's just, we'll just have to be extra vigilant. Indeed. That is all. And that is fine. Uh, if you have any need of our services or wish to train, uh, we can absolutely help facilitate that. No problems. Um, for well, now, we, we greatly appreciate your services, and we also extend the hand that if you should ever need us feel free to ask I will I don't think 
that we have anything immediately, but perhaps when you return, we might. Uh, there's a, you have about another, I think at this point you have another day before the armor's done, before the red dragon leather armor is done. Nice. So you have a, like a day to kind of dick around town. Well, if we have to fight my brother, then that armor will definitely come in handy. It's true. Very true. He, if if you're done speaking with Battlemaster Armek, he sort of he'll he'll walk you out of the building. <coughs> and you're in Tartak City at this point. It's uh, afternoon. So is there is there anything that we could get to that would counter a spell other than having the spell on hand counter spell? Um, and is there anything that we could get that you might recommend that could break that sort of conditioning, that sort of training that was instilled in these people? You're talking to Armec. Oh, I'm talking to um, me, the master. Yes. Okay. So. The master. It depends on, and you would have to probably do this either in combat or after you knock them out <coughs> at the end of the battle. Um, but it kind of depends on what it is. There are some, like, some curses will do it, and then you would just need the remove curse spell, which I think paladins get. Um, I I'm not putting any more levels in, into uh, paladin. Well, Fair enough. Um, clerics can get it. Oh, in cool, cool. Theory, <clears throat> you can have. I don't know if the type of sorcerer you are will get it. Maybe. Well, yeah, because I have access to all the cleric spells of my level. Yeah. So then you can probably. I don't. Know, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to get that at some point. Remove curse. Yeah. Um, the. I'm trying to think here. So, remove curse is a big one. Greater restoration will yeah. will remove a lot of that sort of thing. Like for example, it can be used to reverse the memory loss from the Feywild uh, and poisons and venoms and stuff. There's also lesser restoration for that too. But yeah, greater restoration would definitely do it. In general, I think that that like will remove curses and all kinds of stuff. I think you yeah. can actually use greater restoration to remove lycanthropy because that's pretty wild. It's that's it's a, nice. that's like a fifth level spell, I think. And you know, there aren't a lot of people on Archon that can cast fifth level spells in general. You're talking about like. The, like the battle master can do it because uh, he's fairly high level uh, some of your your upper upper ranking people can but beyond that it's pretty rare to find like you're not going to find a 15th level cleric out in the woods somewhere it's just not going to happen <laughs> right Right. So, remove curse, greater restoration are probably going to be your best bet. Obviously, wish could do it, but the odds of you having access to a wish are negligible. I'll have to have ninth level as a sorcerer to cast it, so I'll have to have seven more levels. Yeah. Oh, God. Please don't. Just no. This is not even talking about wish. I'm sorry I brought it up. Well, no, not, I'm not just saying, wish, like, um, wish, wish can do stuff like that, but it yeah. is. Wish is a dangerous spell. Evander yeah. has told me about wish, and it's programmed <laughs> in my memory banks to say, nah, fuck that. Nah, nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. You guys want to wish? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. And also, don't trust Santa. Something about that, too. Don't trust Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Santa is real, and he is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. he, he, is a, he is a fey. Uh, arch fey. 
very powerful. Also, Gerald, I don't know if you. I I, th I think you said you haven't got that far into the Dresden Files stuff, but Santa actually is a character le eventually later in the in the books. That's awesome. No, That's I'm saying. I'm, I'm not, and he's I'm not that and he's a, he's a, he's a fairy of the winter court of course he is that's very funny oh it's 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 <laughs> great <laughs> very funny all right oh no oh no <clears throat> software weird so you are free to roam about the odds of you finding an object that can that can cast remove curse or greater restoration like a rod or a wand or whatever is pretty rare too because it's not so we, we would have to to curse them initially and then um find or cast greater restoration on them well how would we curse them no no um the idea behind that is oh if i had greater restoration i could cast that on them and that would remove the shit that they had going on yes okay okay yes yes that's that's the idea huh it's not that you have to curse them first. maybe at some that... point we could hire a ninth level cleric to travel with us for a single mission that is absolutely something that you could in theory do whoopsie hey, Cor is corvus a, a pure cleric no he is he was a, a he's a cleric warlock a cleric warlock okay. yeah so do you that... recall the level he has into cleric uh... or where he was going with that three maybe four i'm not sure if i'm being honest yeah. he might have more levels in cleric than he does in warlock i i, I don't i don't really know he might also yeah, have that, even. Get that out later that, that might be even for him i think yeah i think i think barring that we might uh hire a cleric if we suspect that we would need that one on a given mission okay that's fine what would you like to do on your day off in the city liquor and horse not really. really nice. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's probably not really Christian's jam. Is uh, does Clank have any damage that he needs to be have repaired? Technically, yes. I haven't actually tweaked that yet, but it's probably going to change to where uh, he can. He'll be able to heal everything as per usual, as like like say you can. I just got to figure out a different. Yeah thing for him because trying to keep track of like oh i've taken eight damage so two of that damage isn't like has to be repaired it's just a pain in the in the end yeah. so it's not it's it's something I, I i thought was interesting but it's not really functionally good in the game so i can think of a way around that um just to throw it out there you perhaps could give him an outer layer of armor that could be battered and have to be repaired and he doesn't take hit point damage until that is battered down uh and then that is just after that is hit point damage as usual and he can re heal his hit points as usual as we do but that armor would have to be specially repaired yes so that's an interesting idea so like so have, like a shield so so have yeah. like uh it wouldn't change his hit point total but what it would do right. is he would take give a buffer Whatever damage he took at first would be from the shield or from the right. from from the material component, whatever right. the thickness of his armor, and then beyond that, so his his innards would be able to be healed magically, yeah. but the outer <clears throat> layer would have to be repaired. And yeah. like, say for okay. instance, later levels, if I get like a better. I don't know shirt or armor or something. It, it could increase that armor. armor. That could be an arms piece. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
like like your 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 hand slot is your your um, magic missile cannons. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, I like this. I like this idea. Let's do that. Let's kind of stick with that. So we'll we'll keep it at a quarter of your hit points. So it's not like the number of hit points you take a quarter of them have to be repaired. It's how how, how many hit points do you have? I think I'm at eighty. Eighty. We're a little eight, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so then twenty points. I think if you did that though, you you might have to give them a, a little bit of extra hit points because that could be, especially if we're out in the field a long time, that could be more of a hindrance than a help. Well, that's true. That's that's why he would keep uh, components to repair. On oh, him. okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, okay, so like, yeah, that makes sense. It's like you can, you know, and and it's oh, like a long rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not expensive by any means like a gold or a white drop up per hit point kind of a thing could yeah, i like, repair like, it during a short rest as well like j just that armor piece i guess that's an interesting idea so I think that would okay right so down. during my yeah so like all right make yeah, a note go, go for it okay so on a short or long rest actually it's going to be separate Okay, on a short rest, <laughs> you can spend White Draka to repair yourself as many hit points of those as you want, but any hit dice that you spend, you would only recover half All right. of what you roll, right? Because you're not really resting a lot. You're resting some because you're doing repairs during the short rest. So any hit dice that you spend to heal your your actual like inner hit points would be half. So you can repair that. Over over a long rest, it wouldn't like you can heal both. It's not any issue. Right. I like it. I like it a lot. That's so and, why Draka. And uh, for purposes of. Maintenance and carrying capacity, and how much, how aggravating that is. Um, we're just gonna have it. We're going to assume that as an artifice, you know to always keep material on hand. So like, I'm not gonna make. Like Mama you... always said. Yeah. So, for example, I'm not gonna make you. It, if you forget in town, we're going to assume that every time you go to a place a reasonably civilized place that you can find some kind of components to repair yourself. So essentially just whatever the cost is, you just do that. Oh, we good? We yeah, we good. Okay. Touch my cool. So how much of how much of the percent, uh, percentage of my hit points would be the shield? That would be 25%. 25%. All right. So in your case, at this very moment, it would be 20. 20. And then next level will be 22. And yeah. You, you always round down. All right. Yeah. So 20 hit points at like off, off the top are armor. And then down the... <laughs> down the road you can upgrade that maybe to god i hope i don't get any like con bullshit happen to me <laughs> have any what like anything that affects my hip hip points it would suck <laughs> yeah yeah i, I squishy well, i that's, squishy again that's why you have luckomancer powers yep I need a sonic screwdriver. That's what I need to try to find. <laughs> yeah. Too bad they don't work on wood. Well, I, I think that if uh, you yeah, know, that's true. If if you were able to increase that shield with with the uh, armament, then that would certainly be a feature of the class. So initially, it's kind of a the, hindrance. The race. But, yeah. yeah. Or, or the race, rather. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So. I gotcha. 
You're but right. once it's uh, once it's increased by a certain degree, then that's certainly a boon. But the reason that that exists is because he has other features. Yeah. That are beyond the capabilities of most other races, like yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Being able to increase and decrease in size, being able to, uh, I think you have he has uh, he doesn't have to eat or sleep. No. Nope. Breathe. No. Nope. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of bonus things that you yeah, get, and yeah. this thing is a sort of, uh, return, so to speak, to make it a little bit more uh, balanced. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. You know. Now you know. Now you know. More <laughs> you know. Well, and on the subject and of the battle. The same, so. We should also get our ship repaired. Ah. Yes. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Uh, at first, uh, so this is a big city. It has... Sartak City is on a river. So it doesn't have necessarily gigantic boats. But there are people in the city that are proficient in repairing boats they're a little confused yeah. at first because this one happens to be able to fly and there aren't a yeah. lot of them that do that but the repair format's very similar and it's a little easier actually uh with it being able to fly because you can just maneuver it yeah because they can lift it up yeah so you can lift it up and, and move it around and stuff so the ship has taken see here the ship has taken 21 hp of damage out of its total 300 and it is 100 white draka to repair one hit point so it will take 2100 white draka or 21 green if you prefer uh to repair the ship how much now, do we have in uh, the, the party account, Clint? We have quite a bit, but I think Gerald has it. Okay. You mean from the... the Notebook. From the recover? Oh. That from the... No, no, from the general uh, party fund. Oh, right. Yep. Let me go grab that. Yeah. Is that in... Uh, Jadar's. Okay. Uh, Clint's. Um... But yeah, you there, could, there's quite a bit. You could also take out of the Karaki payout, technically could. speaking. You can just sum up what we have on that sheet, and I'll just add it on here. Okay. So I have go. I have the Karaki Let me on here. Go find that notebook. All right. I'll be right back. Thing is, I think I actually wrote it on like the middle of the notebook on some piece of paper, so he'll find it. Just is not at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I swear <clears throat> we have we actually have quite a bit. Uh, I, we I should, think. yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be sure that we we uh, take it out of that, not our yeah. not what we're gonna yeah. divide up. Yeah. Right. We have what seventy five. K white draka that we can get from this, right? Is that much we're bonusing from? Okay, let's giving see. them this I'm money. I'm back. Yeah. This is Harriet. Yeah, I think my character sheet was actually in the folder where it was at. Yeah. Is it written on your character sheet? No, it's in the notebook it was attached with. Okay. Well, let us see. That is... Alright, I'm going to let you know. It's not in the beginning of the page. It's like in the middle. Okay. Just move everything. Ah, here we are, I think. Sorry, I thought yes. I was Yes, okay. 
Ready? For what you have in the... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you have a potion of water breathing. Okay. You have a scroll of identify. Okay. Two potions of healing. Okay. Clank's personal fund is 200 white Draca at this moment. Oh. Uh, but the party fund, you have 350 green Draca. Oh, okay. See, so yeah, I knew we had the money. And it looks like 26,400 white Draca. 400. Wait, that's. You bought that was, items. yeah. I think that's gonna be enough. Well, how much is it to repair the ship? Twenty-one hundred. White. There we go. Take it from uh, our party fund. Excellent. I mean, you're you have that on track now, so yeah, that's fine. All right. Totally twenty-six uh, twenty-six hundred, and you said twenty-one thousand. Uh, it's twenty-one hundred. Oh, twenty-one hundred. To repair the ship, and you have twenty six thousand four hundred. Like, yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. All right. I give them that amount to repair the ship. Whomever. Great. The Krishna. Pay the man. Pay the man. Wonderful. I will now <clears throat> remove the listed damage dice. So good. Very good. You weren't in, in any way at risk of the ship breaking down at that point, but over time and taking... I, I, I just like to keep on top of it, just yeah. in case. That's fair. Just got to be careful, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anything else to do on the uh, day off? The steamroller's day off. Kane? Um, I don't, I don't know. I've kind of got nothing. No? Okay. And nothing else from me. Anybody else got anything? I'm just kind of chilling at the Sexy Badger Tavern? Yeah, I think, yeah. uh... Sipping yeah, drinks and relaxing. Sounds like a good time. Maybe not even partaking of the lady favors, but, uh, you know, doing the, just having some drinks and a good time. That's right. All right. That's fine. That's great. Next day rolls around. Around noon, you go to pick up from Uncle Frosty. You go to pick up the studded red dragon leather armor nice i was telling kane about kane. this yeah a little bit before um i don't know if tommy was on there just yet or and i know that you weren't because you you hopped on right when we started yeah um this is number one he is a ridiculously skilled armor maker uh, nice. because it is beautiful beautifully crafted Smith. the studs are <laughs> beautifully arranged I think Rob is calling me Hang on. oh Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll actually just submit it so everyone can see the test mm -hmm. of it. Everybody? Okay. I guess we're still good. Check, check. 
Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here is what it does. Boom. So the idea behind this, and it's something that I'm going to start maybe adding to some of my other items as I create more items, is this armor does not have to be attuned, but it can be. Holy if, shit, a cone of fire? If you don't attune to it, then it's plus one armor that gives you fire resistance. If you do attune to it, then it becomes plus two armor. You can, once per long rest, become immune to fire damage for one minute or ten rounds, as the case may be. And once per long rest, you can breathe a 20-foot cone of fire. It's dragon breath. Um, they make a tech save or take 66 fire damage half on a success. Holy shit. So, uh, That's so, amazing. Yes, sir. Very handy. Oh, can he can he do sneak attack damage with that? Uh, no. Me? Yeah. Sneak attack damage does not carry over to AoE. Oh, I got you. Gotcha. <laughs> that would be so broken. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> it's to a to a single target, it's a single target attack. So, uh, Kane is very good at one enemy or big enemy combat. Not a big controller, just mega damage to one one enemy. Yeah. Uh, whereas Corvus. And so in some aspects, paladins and sorcerers, right, uh, can do less damage, but to more enemies. Now, if you were going straight paladin, paladin's just like rogue in 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 that regard, as far as uh, you know, blast single enemies. Right. With smite. Yeah. Smite and the like. Okay. <clears throat> you pick the armor up. I don't know who is going to be wearing it. Well, if it's not, if it's not better than Kane's armor currently i have a mithril well i have a mithril shirt <laughs> but i don't think is it is the heavy mithril shirt is medium armor i believe i mean no no, no. what what's the armor that we're talking about studded leather like, is light oh studded leather oh okay yes. yeah i mean i'm pretty sure i have like a type of studded leather on right now is that better than what you have on? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me. Act. This whole time I've been been sitting here, I haven't even actually got my character sheet back out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's sitting like right here, but yeah. Like, ugh. I've just been okay. sitting here on the computer. Uh, let's see. It's all right. I have a mithril shirt plus one. Yeah, I'm just regular old vanilla studded leather. There you go. Yeah. Because you don't have the shadow armor yet, do you? No. No. That's probably a level nine or even if you, I guess you may not even pick that. Well, yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I may go, I don't know. I haven't decided. I've been focusing on the bow lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, you can 100% do that and wear the new dragon armor if you wanted to. I mean, is everyone else cool with that? Yeah, that's that's the idea I had. In uh, <laughs> we'll find something good for me. <coughs> Personally, I don't know. Like, I'm. 
Tommy, you're you're uh, going all robot again. Yeah. <laughs> beep. <laughs> beep, boo, boo. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Nope. Still. Still. Worse, in fact. I. What? What? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't catch any of that. You're going to have to type it out. Yeah, I don't know how to uh, stop that from happening. You need to get you a cool blue yeti mic dude <laughs> <laughs> i can't hear tommy at all now I mean, i'm not yeah. talking oh there we okay. go hey. yeah. it's it's the connection in discord i can see the like our game chat game channel uh, at the very right. bottom has yeah he's been dropping signal oh, I... gotcha. gotcha all right i'm just my speed See if I can call comp pass and get transferred somewhere. Yeah, really. Oh, oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> I hate comp pass so much. Oh, dude, I did too. Ooh, don't get me started. Ooh, I hate him. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm... <laughs> we have See, Armstrong, so. I I used to have. Well, this is probably not a good stream chat, so. We, we can do this, like, off. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Yeah. Maybe on our break, which will be not too late from now, but in a little bit. Um, you have a nice long because it's been a while since you've had a day to just rest in town just like sitting at a tavern hey, hey, having a few drinks uh, and, uh, it's all it's all good just chilling this is a good day because uh it's a good time to figure out as a group what the next step is because you have if I may uh, you have a huge amount of money on your persons right now just like absurd amount of got money huge tracks, tracks of, of land tracks of land yes <laughs> Yes, that. Uh, so that is a thing that should probably be handled soon, just to reduce the the risk of. Can we um can we get a, um, a reinforced um uh, a safe of sorts to be installed on the ship ship? Oh, you you have a a, a storage room that has a very strong lock on it. Mm-hmm. It had, so it has some magical reinforcement that um, would be really fucking tough to break. It's uh, yes. You can also put it in the engine room. Okay. Yeah. Like nobody has the code to that, and you're not getting through that force field door. It's just except not. for me. Well, that's you, what we'll do. You have the code for that, so you can just punch in and do yeah. that. Yeah, that's totally fine. You just. Just pop it in there. Yep. And since you're not, I mean, you're not really broadcasting that you have all this cash, so it's not like people know that you have it anyway. Right. Yeah. It'd be one thing if you're like, hey, guess what we got yesterday? <laughs> it's just on the odd chance that we ever are, for whatever reason, captured, and they do, for whatever reason, find the ship and get access to it. Yeah. It would be the only problem the only potential problem with putting it in the engine room is if somebody breaks in and tries to get to it and they punch that code in too many times uh then right, the door right, is right, sealed right. and you can't get it out Even from us. yeah we'll have to make some consideration so, yeah now yeah. the lock to get into the storage room Oh yeah, it was pretty good. Is, is like a DC. I want to say I put it at like a DC twenty eight lock. Yeah, it, it it would be better to put it there then It'd because be... it's kind of ridiculous to think that that set of circumstances would befall us. So. Well, yeah. Now, we'll, if we'll somebody 
if somebody is constantly in the engine room with the money because you can't get locked in. Maybe we could buy a construct simply for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a golem of some sort that is in there that we are somehow psychically linked to or can be psychically linked to. Um, okay. That contingency. That, that would be an interesting... Uh... Or at least give it like a sending stone of some type. Yeah. Where it can like... Teleport. Gate stone. Yeah, something mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. All things of that nature can indeed be acquired. And Sartak City is Excellent. a place that you could technically acquire them. Uh, but they're not exactly inex inexpensive. So. Right, right, right. It's. Because there's not really any risk right now. The only people that know you have it are Frigg, who's not gonna go after it. Right. Uh, Domikos, who's probably in pretty deep shit right now. Yeah. Because of his continuous failures. <clears throat> And that's pretty much it, unless he's told. Ch chances are that the Cult of Madness will know at some point that you have that money, but the odds of it being immediately reacted to are pretty low, at least as far as you know. It yeah. is possible that he can get word to the Cult of Madness very quickly, and they can assemble some kind of task force to recover that money but you don't know what kind of time frame that is or anything like that so it could be an hour from it, ha it hasn't been because you've you've been <sighs> you've been kind of relaxing chillax <clears throat> so it could have been an hour from when you guys left the hinge of the ancients could have been could be uh, could be ten days from then. You don't know. Could be a month from then. It'll take time to gather the resources to fight you guys anyway. Because the cult of Manus is starting to understand the true threat that you are. So sending regular. His regular yo's is not really going to keep cutting it. Oh, They're... wow. We were leveling up from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So, I, I screen the XP. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's always great whenever they can just send a nice constant flow of low level XPs. <laughs> Until it sends that's a you're... whole bunch of high level death machines. See, yeah. that's 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 exactly right. Yeah, I, just, I agree. I plenty of <laughs> nice, squishy wizards that have like one fireball that I can survive, and then <clears throat> yeah, but moving no, right along with our day. Yeah, but he's he's flanked by two greater demons. <laughs> GG. Yeah, that's <laughs> not what we want. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. All right. So here are the possible routes that you can think and discuss if you want while we're on break. That's fine. I have to have a few things I need to do off mic. That will be will take a little bit of time. Uh, but feel free to talk amongst yourselves, obviously, while I'm doing all that. And I, it's just, I'll probably be a little bit longer than normal, but not too much, I don't think. Just <clears throat> anyway. don't fall in. Don't fall in. <laughs> I did swim earlier. 
<laughs> no. Oh, dude, I would do it all the time. I did it right after I mowed. It was nice. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to come to your house after I mow. Nice. <laughs> nice. That sounds awesome. It's hot as balls outside today. Yeah. 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 My grass is like two weeks overgrown right now. Not too, my backyard's fucked. I have so much work to do in the backyard. Yeah, dude. <sighs> All right. List of things you need to do. And you can prioritize these however you want to. But things you know you need to do. You probably haven't made a list, but nope. I got you covered. You got to return money to the yep. Rocky family. And Maybe I'm probably going to be fairly adamant that that happens. Very soon, probably. Kane wants to do that. <clears throat> you have to, uh, you have that note from the book to travel to the southern continent to investigate Cizir and Dragonicia, which is kind of, uh, sort of on the way so you could drop off the money it's a little angled out of the way to do that because uh, the Karaki family is on the south western city of Adoja yeah we're a good ways away <clears throat> from there you are a good ways away from there even in the ship it's going to take probably five or six days to get there if you weren't in the ship it would take you much longer than that yeah we would just be like okay teleport yeah <gasps> you have some ideas of the plans of the cult of madness to injure you as a group collective you so checking on Quetzal's family uh, of course Harriet's storyline is yeah. kind of on pause for now because she is not playing at this very moment but uh, you have a couple of those things to do as well uh, there's also somehow trying to investigate who the chaos mate uh, might be Domikos's boss do not know who that is only that he or she is called the chaos titian chaos titian there is something about Balarama, but you don't really have any means or know where he is, so there's not really anything you can do about that one just yet. Until you get more information. I think that that one's definitely one that, that um, it's a wait for it to come to us kind of issue. Right. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, I'll mark it down. Add to the list. It so may, many side quests. Yes. It may, in theory, be possible to scry on him. But, huh. like, as far as, uh, as the means of trying to, to determine his location. But the odds of that giving up location is pretty rare. He would have to be standing by, like, a known landmark. Yeah. And you haven't been everywhere. So there's not really. Unless he's standing by somewhere that you know, the odds of which are fairly low, then you would not know where he was. It might still be of some use, because then we could at least get um, an idea of his context, his companions, That's uh, true. things like that. Like, oh, he's in the desert, so he's got to be in one of these places. That's yeah. possible, too, you know. Right. <sighs> be a little easier with a desert or snow land but this is like he's in a forest well there's a bunch of forests so who knows where he is there yeah same with but he might be with things. um he might be with an army he might be with a small crew that's true uh, information like that could be useful yeah but i don't know if any of you have the means to scry <clears throat> yeah i don't personally i know that nope but we can hire someone who can. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
Ah, money. Money, 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 money. Professor Trey. <laughs> money. There it is. Just got to go to Trelawney. Trelawney. She'll, she'll scribe for you. Excellent. And give you a uh, random uh, prophecies about the boy who lived. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, so so the one thing that you gotta expect when you go in is that she's probably gonna tell you that you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, the I grim see the oracle. I see the grim. <laughs> you always see the grim. Goodness, stab it. The grim. <laughs> it's good stuff. I think that at this point, because you need to talk about what you're gonna do. Uh, we're going to take a break. Thanks. All right. Are we still going to be uh, streaming? Y- yes. It's, but okay. I'm going I'm to pop over to the break screen. That works. Um, I think I'm going to leave the desktop audio on, so it should still pick up you guys talking. But I won't be on the mic anyway, so whatever you guys want to do. All right. That I works. Will okay. be as quick as I can. All right. See you guys in a little bit. All right. Good. All right. Later.